my name is Rapsy, and welcome back to Slay the Spire. It's time to play the silent. Alright. Give me a good option. Nope. Alright, I'm gonna lose my starting relic and obtain a random boss relic. Unfortunately, Ring of the Snake is super powerful. And there are random boss relics that will actually kill me. If I get, like, the red collar, I lose. That's... That's the end of the run. Goodbye forever. Because the silent has so many cards that are based entirely around the silent being able to chain off. Right? For the mo for the largest amount of effectiveness. You can't really do that when you can only play six cards a turn and then get, you know, harshly hamstrung there. Okay. We got white beast statue. Potions will always drop after combat. That could be a thing. Okay, three question marks, three question marks. This has two rests. It cuts back into a shop. But it doesn't allow me to cut back into another boss if I want to. Whereas this path will allow me to cut back into another boss. And then another. You know what? Alright, we're going to look for like ridiculous offensive potential here. We just want big hits. And since we have a white beast statue... We're actually going to find it a lot easier to take down these elites. So we've got a bunch of question marks, we've got a shop, we've got a bunch of rests, and we've got a bunch of elites on this path. This could scarcely be better. Alright. Please don't defend this turn. Good. My next hand's quite likely to have a reasonable amount of damage in it, so I'm actually going to double block here. Okay. Never mind. Alright, I get two strikes in my next hand. I need one more attack card. It could even be the neutralize, and I'll have to kill. Strike, strike, and... There's our final strike. Holy shit, took to the very end of the hand before I got it. Oh, that was a little too close. For comfort. Okay. I kind of want to take heal hook. Just because I'm going to get a potion after every fight. There's going to be a lot of weak potions that I get. You know what? Let's try and make a weakness build. I haven't done one of these in ages. Remove a card from my deck. Perfect. Let's give you a strike. Gold pedestal, lower some HP, sure. I really need a good card here. Give me like a predator. Come on and predate me. Oh. Mm. Lovely drop I'm drinking at the moment. It's the festive season as I recall this. Recall this, recall this, rather. Um so a fair amount of the time I'm accompanying recording with a drink or two and at the moment it's a white Russian if you're unfamiliar with white Russians uh, then you need to go and watch the uh, the big Lebowski but I will give you a little information hang on it's 11 it's not lethal okay cool that's all out damage, so as long as I get some damage in the rest of my deck, I'll be fine. Uh, I'll give you a little bit of information. It's typically like a like a Kahlua kind of liqueur added to vodka and milk. Actually quite nice. Sounds like it wouldn't be particularly, but it's quite nice. I have to take an offensive card here, so I'm going to go with the, the Poison Stab. As much as I don't really want to be picking the poison stab here, I need something for the boss that I'm about to fight. Run a relatively thin deck strategy so that I can get through to my more powerful cards more often. Upgrading neutralize is also going to be really important in this deck. This is a great opening hand, especially if I draw damage. I didn't, but it's still a pretty good opening hand. Give me that poison stab. I want that stab. Yeah. And I'll block 12 damage here. 
you can't play slow against Lagavulin, especially as this character. I've mentioned it before. And I'll mention it again. You cannot play slowly against Lagavulin, especially as the silent. You do not have the damage to kill them after they siphon soul you like twice. So you gotta go all out when you can. Mm -hmm. There's the first soul siphon. Okay, down to 14. Well, 11, really, because you're gonna. No? Is that poison gonna wear off? No, okay, 10. Easy. Whew. Give me regen potion. Nope, Fron scales and dex. That's actually quite good. There's a predate. Predate is also, like, malaise is also ridiculously powerful, though. Malaise is even more powerful in my builds because I have the heal hooks and I'm planning on getting more heal hooks. As much as I usually want to open that with real harsh aggression, uh, this is going to weaken you for long enough that doing pretty much anything will keep me safe. Okay. And then my heal hooks will always be powerful. And we should have the kill wrapped up in the next turn. Um, yeah, I mean, double strike. We'll do it. Easily done. Gotta upgrade that malaise as soon as possible, though. I have a poison in my deck. I could easily go for Bane. In fact, I will. Happy Flower is really, really powerful. Always glad to see it. Blood Vial as well. Damn, I'm gonna get so... Uh-oh. Don't give me Lagavulin. Avist and Chopped by the Giant Claws. I wonder if that is a tale about what Beast will appear. Okay, we got Darkstone Perry out. That's pretty good. And it's Lagavulin. That might have been a tell. This is going to siphon soul on the first turn, which is impossibly bad for me. I'm going to need to use Dex and Block Potion throughout the course of this fight in order to live. Let's use the Block and then Malaise. Okay. Poison Stab Bane is really powerful. In fact, I have the ability to play everything here. Probably should have used my Dex Potion there. Definitely no need to use it here. Another Siphon Soul. See, I'm two down in the Siphon Souls right now. And uh, life isn't getting easier. I'm going to drink a dex potion here. So I missed two HP that I could have if I had have drank that dex potion earlier. Poison neutralize. Stab. Block stab. And this should be the kill in the next turn. Beautiful. Well, this is going to make going for the boss that I inevitably have to go for in the next space quite difficult. Bouncing Flask is quite powerful, though. I have no choice. I have to go for this boss. Give me Bouncing Flask Poison Stab. Poison Stab Bane is a pretty good opener as well, though. I don't want Bouncing Flask anymore. This is going to enrage my opponent here. That said, malaise is still going to lower your damage much more than it raises it. Do need to defend, though. Bouncing Flask stab next turn is my best turn. Ooh. I got to do it. Oh, this is going to be rough. I just want to get to the boss at the end of this floor so that if I do die, 
I can at least come back and do something else afterwards. Okay, heal hook. I think Bane, Poison Stab, and Strike is, yeah. Lethal. Bag of Preparation. That basically makes up for the Ring of the Snake that we don't have. I'll never need Alchemist because I always... Look at the, the proof positive of something I was saying a couple episodes ago, which Elixir now exhausts all curses as well. If it always did that, then I've been an idiot for a lot of episodes and I've probably been yelled at and I'm sorry about that. I have to rest here. Unfortunately, I have no choice. I, I have a bunch of cards that I really want to upgrade, but I have to rest there. Okay. This is a really good opening hand because I get to malaise and neutralize. Weaken you a bunch. Give me bouncing flask. Heal hook something else. Or bouncing flask and strike. Because I can't rely on getting a good draw for the next turn after this. Okay. 10 incoming damage. I think I might bouncing flask defend. Just because stacking this poison is going to be a really, really efficient way to take out this Lager Ball one. Completely defended. Yeah. Oh, we're going to be fine. It ble it, it, It's poisoned for the next two turns. You're already dead before you ever get another attack off. Now I'm just pretty much running up the score. All right. This is this has been a really good first floor. God, another elixir. Take another heal hook. Uh, I'm gonna upgrade Malaise. Unfortunately, Malaise is not gonna actually be particularly good against the boss right now, but it's still quite good to have. Wow, both of my heal hooks with neither of my weakeners. Yikes. I pretty much have to go all out aggressive here. The reason being, if this enemy gets off its 32 hit, I'm probably just dead. I, I don't know if I'll have the ability to defend against that. Draw reduction is not going to help. Yeah, like, Malay's block is not going to do it. I think I'm just dead now. Yep, yeah, I'm dead. Well, at least I got to this point, so I'm going to have the ability to get another thing. I should have rested. I just should have rested at the last one. Oh. Didn't have enough draw manipulation in my deck to really try and persevere through that. And I've got to remember, the Silent is always less powerful at the Slime Boss because you can't... Well, you can't. You very likely can't fully split them by... Uh-oh. Pandora's box just transformed all of my strikes and defense. Okay, quick slash, quick slash, dagger. Pretty good. If this, this is like an upgraded defense, this costs nothing. This is pretty good. I want to get this out of my deck. I want to get this out of my deck. That gets itself out of my deck. Do I make a poison build or do I make a draw build? Because there's two different things basically being offered to me there. It's here and then hug the far right. The hardest thing to come across in this deck is going to be defense. Because we've got survivor, we've got leg sweep, and we have uh, deflect and dodge and roll. There we go. Good poison. I mean... I'm kind of on board, but I'm also kind of, like, definitely not.
Because, like, for example, Quick Slash is a straight upgrade. Dagger Spray is a straight upgrade, right? These are on strikes, right? Straight upgrades. Deflect, side grade. Leg Sweep, side grade. Bouncing Flask, side grade. Like, Bane is an upgrade by one damage. It's only a significant upgrade if you're already poisoning the opponent. I only have one other poison card in my deck. I definitely take Escape Plan here. As well as listen to a gigantic truck that is rudely driving up my street. How dare you? There'll be better turns for this. I don't want a leg sweep. But I also really want a dagger spray. Dagger spray does the same amount of damage as the quick slash, but it doesn't draw a card, so we go with a quick slash. Bouncing flask is now really, really appealing. But it got a leg sweep. If leg sweep went from two cost to one cost, it would be ridiculously broken and amazing. I kind of want it to be ridiculously broken and amazing. Okay. Maybe we try and do a mana manipulation card draw. Because we've got an outmaneuver as well as a uh, duplicate of quick strike. None of these go into my builds. Shop, 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 shop. Got him. Ice cream. We're doing a mana. Uh, mana, mana. Manomina. Dun 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 dun. Manomina. Bum dun dun. Manomina. Bum bum dun 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 dun. It's mana manipulation build. Da 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 da. Da da da. Thank you. I'm gonna exhaust the piercing whale here, despite the fact that I don't actually need to drop the opponent's offense right now, just so that I don't draw it again. No, I can't. Just got to rely on getting damage later. Dang it. Dang it. Pretty much everything that advances the mana manipulation build I'm just going to be going for. So, mana related... Tri mana. Energy related trinkets. Energy related cards. Concentrate becomes amazing. And because Concentrate became amazing, so does Unceasing Top. Flying Knee. Mana Manipulation. So now it is Mana Manipulation plus Card Draw will just win this game for us. Smith. I want anything that has more energy... Outmaneuver, but I can't afford to use Outmaneuver in a lot of positions yet. So I'll upgrade Flying Knee so that I can use Flying Knee and then it buys me the ability to use things like my other mana manipulation abilities. Give me the spread. There's the Dagger Spray immediately. Beautiful. Can flying Knee here. Weaken your damage. Buff my next turn. So I didn't get much draw in that hand, which means my next hand is going to have a lot of draw. Or should, at least. Yeah, quick slash, quick slash. And then I'm pretty much just going to be able to pay for everything that I want to do. Even the things I don't want to do. Got him. Energy and mana manipulation. Energy and card manipulation means that Predator will be a better than average card. I probably need to use my Dex Potion here. Just because it's going to be real difficult to defend myself effectively. Let's draw a card first. 
but I fully expect that I'm using the knee here, and I am. I'll also throw all the neutralize on the back line so that a single... I'm an idiot. I was about to say, so the single strike will kill that sentry, but a single strike won't kill that sentry, will it? Because I have no strikes in my GD deck. The enemy at the very back is attacking again, which is kind of good for me. I take four damage this turn. If I use Piercing Whale, I won't. Sure. It's also important that it actually lowers the artifacting on this sentry here. Makes that decision easier for me. Everyone attacking that turn was actually ideal. It's usually not, but it is. Here, at least. There's my Predate. One down. Bouncing Floss doesn't kill. 8-8. Eight, eight. This does. Wee. Lantern. Mana manipulation. Don't mind if I do. Adrenaline is mana manipulation. Don't mind if I do. Rooting to deck I can't go much higher than this. Please, game, stop giving me good things. For the sake of the ears of my listeners. I can actually just refuse to use something in this turn in order to save my energy. I will give myself four block for the next turn, though. Six energy... I've got to use Adrenaline and Escape Plan here, basically, because I just need the draw. Saved 8 damage to use a Block Potion? Sure. Because I've probably got Lethal next turn, so saving 8 damage is actually kind of significant. That's a Quick Slash. Is no, it's flying me. Cool. This deck is working a lot better than I thought it would. Maybe... Maybe I've got to refigure how I... Ooh. Hang on. I think none of these. It's none of these, right? As much as Backstab can be amazing... It's none of these for me. Because I block until I can go for a ridiculous turn. That's kind of the way we're working right now. Ah, oh, crumbs. Master of Strategy is pretty cool. It's a lot of draw. I want to take Master of Strategy and Meat on the Bone, but I can only take one. I also really want Mercury Hourglass, in fact. I'm going to take Master of Strategy and I'm going to remove a card from my deck. The card I'm going to remove is... Which of these does the least for me? It might actually be Deflect. Despite the fact that I actually really want to hold on to all of my defense. Bane and Bouncing Blast currently don't really work in this build. But they are super expensive. You know what? Fuck it. Get out of my deck, Bounce, uh, Bouncing Blast. I've played a lot with Bouncing Flasks recently. Anything that gives me extra energy is now priority, especially because I just picked up more draw. Okay, we've got protection this turn. That definitely should have been Dagger Spray because it would have killed as well as done damage to the Fungi Beast in the back line. I just didn't think about it for long enough. Let that be a lesson to you, kitties. 
think. I can only ever say that on series where my, and, you know, I don't have face cam because <laughs> when I do have the face camera on, oftentimes that would be met with kitties. You look like you're 12. To which I would respond, oh, maybe on camera. But when in person, I look like a 24 year old, which is good because I'm 24. The difference being, you can't perceive height when you're seeing the chest up face camera. And I'm quite a tall man indeed. That's perfect. I'm basically just gonna set up for... Uh-oh. Still didn't get it. Wowzers trousers. Was basically just setting up for a dagger spray. Unfortunately, dagger spray now only does six across. But hang on, that's enough to kill. Or bear few, at least. Come on, dagger spray. Dagger spray. I mean, I already drew it. Cool. Then flying knee slash. Easily done. Uh-uh. Okay. None of these give me more draw when I upgrade them. Like, Quick Slash just gets two more damage. But two more damage is... Two more. Sorry, four more damage is pretty significant. It's basically like a double slash plus a card draw. It's pretty big. I definitely want to predate... But I'm also going to want to hit with both of the quick slashes. So I may as well do that first. Just in case I get a better option. And I don't. If I can just heavy block this turn. I'm going to be really pleased about it. And I can. There we go. That's all my blocking taken care of. Three new cards. Yeah, one of them's a predate. Alrighty then. Come on. Ouch, did you just deal 18 damage to yourself without dealing a lick to me? Whew. That's got a smart. I can just accept the hit here. Should have done the quick slash first there. Yeah, I can accept this hit. Okay. To me, this is predate, predate. I do want to fit the flying knee in there for the extra little oomph. But I don't think I can. I need some mana manipulation that sticks around in my deck. Like, I need to upgrade Maneuver. That definitely has to happen. That's out Maneuver, rather. Consequences or Concern or whatever it's called. Concentrate. There we go. Definitely need to have one of those around as well. May as well draw that card. No reason not to. Go for a double strike this turn. Mm hmm. You're dead. All right, give me Black Star. Come on, let's do it. The only one here that actually kind of plays is Thousand Cuts, but it's so expensive. Uh -uh. I don't even have like a Darkstone Periapt or anything that I can take advantage of with a Cursed Key. That said, that's one extra energy a turn. 
I don't think I can afford the curse. Because if I get cursed normality, for example, I'm dead. That's it. Game over. I'm going to take the Philosopher's Stone. It's a bad idea, and I'm probably going to die, but since I have the ice cream, I wanted one of the energy trinkets, and the other one seems to me more obviously a bad idea. This is obviously a bad idea, but the other one's more obviously a bad idea. Cool. Throw that away. Next turn's going to be seven energy. Eight energy, sorry. Oh, right. Runic Decahedron. Slash. I shoot a thousand cuts, actually. If I thousand cost one earlier, I would have saved myself eight HP there. Let that be a lesson to you. All these smooth stones, pretty good. Because I don't play defensive cards often, but when I play them, I need to play them. I could also purity card removal. What would I even remove? Bane. Bane deflect, probably. Fine. This is going to make my sustain fight a lot better. Transformer card, alright. Deflect. Lachettes. I don't know if that's good in my deck. In fact, I'm very certain it's not. Thread and Needle is amazing in every single thing that you can have it in. It's amazing. It's very good. It's Yes, it's amazing. Definitely need to Dagger Spray, but I also need to Leg Sweep. I kind of want to predate as well. It's the easiest way for me to deal large swaths of damage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, two skills. That's never going to work. Right. Least amount of damage I can deal to the Mugger. Still going to take two full cards for me. Is it? No, if I just play four more cards this turn. One, two. Yeah, no, I'm going to play four more cards this turn. So I start focusing on the looter. So it's flying knee, flying knee. Then flechettes, and then it's just purity for whatever. It doesn't matter. Beautiful. Another elixir. See what I mean? Um, I kind of want to take backflip, card draw, as well as some block. I already have enough quick slashes. Hmm, <laughs> this is going to be a rough one. Two energy across the board here is not good. I'm actually going to weaken the one in front because I'm kind of hoping to kill the one in back by the next turn. And I'll purity just to thin down my deck a little. There's a wound. Whew. Oh shit, if I don't kill the one in back, I'm deceased. Never mind. We got him. This one in front's already weakened. I'll weaken this one. So I've only got 12 incoming damage. I've got six block total. So a backflip will keep me safe. Sure. Weak an adrenaline. I kind of want a thousand cuts, but I think it's going to be too slow. I think going for 
straight up hits is more powerful. That's 12 damage. Still 12 damage. 11, 8. Not going to be enough. 12, 11, 12. Still not enough to kill the slaver here. Ouch. Although, now you'll die on the attack against me. I mean, this is working, right? Kick me if I'm wrong. This is working. And you're not dead yet, but you're goddamn close. This is usually one of the worst fights that you can get yourself into, and this is... This is working. I don't know what to say. Ice cream is ridiculous. Oh, you you gave me calipers. Why did you give me calipers? Oh. Oh, that's rough. Because now I want to make it a block build. Thousand cuts needs to be upgraded as soon as possible. It becomes so much more powerful with the second upgrade. I mean, it's twice as powerful. There's my thousand cuts. So it's probably a thousand cuts flying me, flying me. I'm going to do three damage external. So I can actually kill both of you. It's a thousand cuts, flying me, flying me. I kind of want to run out maneuver rather than quick slash here. The idea is my next hand should at least have backflip or escape plan or adrenaline. And then an or this quick slash as well. And then I try and chain off because I'm gonna have you know eight energy. Yeah, it's got a lot of them. Okay. Eh. And then uh This is just no more draw, so sure. Yeah, this is just going to be a lot of chaining off damage until we win. I think I'm actually going to hold off on casting any of these just so they get the extra four next turn because I've already got the Predate giving me... I know it's Predator. I like playing with words, right? Uh... And it gives me the extra two cards is what I was going to say. Definitely Dagger Spray first. A lot of damage. How much block? I mean, the weaken plus the block is pretty big. Alright, I'm actually gonna... Exhaust these two, because they're lower quality than the rest of my deck. And I'm gonna be fully defended. I forgot that the plated armor was gonna give me another five there. Oh, yeah, this is instantly lethal. I don't know how I took a second to think about that. Again, usually quite a hard fight. I'm definitely going to throw away an elixir. I've got enough of those. Don't want any of those, though. Duvu doll, sure. Now I would want the cursed key rather than the... Philosopher's Stone. This is usually triggering a couple of times, so it's getting between four and eight more damage. Predator is always pretty much played as soon as I draw it, and it gets five more damage. So Predator is going to be my upgrade. And Predator is never going to get removed from my deck here. I think I just purity remove both of these and then don't backflip. Because, again, the energy just carries on to next turn. If I don't need it this turn, don't use it.
Lachettes for four skills is pretty big. Let's get that thousand cuts down. I should have done that in a different order. <sighs> Double flying knee. I mean, leg sweep, that goes down to 6 by 3. 6 by 3 against 12 plus 5. 6 by 3 is 18. 12 plus 5 is 17. So I can protect myself against pretty much all of it with just one leg sweep. So I should definitely do that. I don't want to use Quick Slash because I might draw one of my Predators and not be able to use it. So instead, I'm actually going to Outmaneuver. Make sure that I have the ability to cast both of the Predators that I draw next turn. And here I thought I'd already found the Apex Predator build. This is pretty Apex as well. None of that works for my build. Warp ain't sure. Uh, dodge and roll. <laughs> Didn't have to upgrade it, did you? I'm going to heal. There's so few cards that I want to add to my deck. There's Concentrate. There's Adrenaline. There's Nightmare. Adrenaline, Nightmare are legendary cards. Concentrate's a rare card, right? Usually this owns you, uh, only offers you normal cards. Normal cards. I'm going to take a risk, but I am fully prepared to be disappointed. Yeah, I'm disappointed. That's a shame. Right, what's the least shitty of these? It's almost certainly Caltrops. Yeah, it is. All right. Still kind of disappointed. Oh, Sneko's Eye. I'm going to be hardcore drawing, so Sneko as much as you want. I'm actually not going to put down 1,000 cuts here because against Sneko, you just want to have as many cards in hand as possible at all times. So next turn, I'm going to draw nine cards. The chance that a lot of them cost zero is quite high. There's zero, there's zero, there's zero, there's zero. Yeah, it's pretty good. Four skills and three attacks left in there, so I want to escape plan first to see if I get the defense. And I do. I can play Shets you. I'm also already entirely defended. I should backflip because there's no reason not to, right? I might draw something cheap that I want to play. It's probably... Probably Caltrops and Quick Slash. Let's burn two things. Piercing Whale, Quick Slash. That Quick Slash is fine, but it's not upgraded, so there's really no reason to have it. Ah, Master of Strategy. Beautiful. And a zero-cost Predator. Let's go. Uh, that's one to see Sneko. Mm -mm. No need. Let's go for a Smith. I want to up... I want to... You know what? I'm going to be in this fight long enough. I'm going to upgrade Caltrops. I'm going to have an eight damage to anyone that attacks me. Also, it's a lot more powerful because there's going to be a lot of things attacking me. Dagger Spray is important in this fight. Lachette's is less important. Not going to cast Dagger Spray. I'm going to keep the energy right now. Really hoping I get Master of Draw this turn. Master of Draw. Master of Draw. Hey, we got the Master of Draw. Thousand cards, and then we cast as many cards from our hand as possible. Good. Probably going to need to attack each of these at least once. Definitely going to be Piercing Whale. Piercing Whale. I will definitely be using Piercing Whale, rather. 
the rest of this I will just leave to fate. Dang near killed almost all of them. Dead. Dead. Oh no, I lost one charge on my plate of armor. The game is over. Nine cards, six mana. Predator flying knee, flying knee. Those obviously have to happen. The rest of this is debatable. Quick slash, sure. Escape. I don't want to draw either of those because I want to be able to use them next turn, so. Outmaneuver. I also really need to upgrade Outmaneuver. I can't believe that I haven't done that yet. Eh. 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 Probably should have targeted one of those against the Torchhead, but it's also probably not necessary. Keep with that, and then I'll block for six this turn and next turn. I gotta say, being able to trade out, uh, trade out your starting trinket for a random boss trinket, to me, I initially read it as horrible. As it was going to be really, really bad. It was going to be the sucker's option, effectively. But it is really, really proving me wrong. I feel like old Rhapsody would have looked at this and gone, no, I'm still right somehow. Right, I would have really desperately clung to, no, my initial read was correct. And despite the performance right now, it's still bad, but. However, it is also worth noting that having ice cream and lantern and runic dodecahedron and philosopher's stone and thread and needle and ancient tea set all of these things have also been amazingly helpful you know what i fucking figured it out boss relics suck getting a boss relic at the start of the game rules here's the thing you can build your deck around a boss relic, but if you build your deck over the course of the first floor so that you can go to the boss and then fight them and then get a relic, and then you choose a relic that doesn't synergize with that build, and then you try and curve, you fucked up. However, if you get a boss relic at the very start, you can choose to build your way around it. Like last time, we avoided all shops and we expanded upon our heavy cards because we had extra energy and less money. And it was super effective. And this time, we transformed all of our strikes and defense. So we looked at what we had in our newly acquired cards. And we built a strategy around it. And then we pursued that heavily. It is worth noting, Ice Cream was super fucking lucky. That turned up. But then after that, I knew what I was going for and went straight down the barrel of it. Adrenaline. What three cards would I leave? What three cards would I get out of my deck? Probably this quick slash. Leg, leg sweeps most of my defense. I don't think I have three cards that I want to remove from my deck. I don't think I can astrolabe. I'm going to take question card. In the off chance that it leads to me getting more things like more adrenalines and stuff. Question, question, question. Shop. Question. Boss. Yeah, yep. Okay, it's that. That's what I'm saying. There's two paths that lead along the same way here, but you know, they're functionally indistinguishable from the start screen. Okay, so deal as much damage as I can this turn, sure. Yeah, I don't want to backflip into a predator and then I'll be able to play it. I'm just hoping that I get draw next turn. Master of Strategy would be ridiculous. Two skills? Uh, Flechette's really isn't pulling its weight here.
I need to cast all three if I want the Darkling in front to die. It's a trick. You can't cast all three. Literally not possible. This will discard that. This will exhaust that. Our balls did up. That said, this is going to be questioning for this next upcoming turn, which gives me a lot more time to hit these two. Cloak and Dagger is actually kind of good just because we have 1,000 cuts and we need a little more defense in our build. And it's upgraded. Thousand percent. Yes, the madness. I'm probably going to have to rest at my next campfire, though. <laughs> I could heal back to fully if I give them a rare card. If I give them leg sweep, I can heal back to full. Jump. Now I don't need to rest. I... Hmm. Thinking ahead is really powerful in my build. It doesn't even exhaust is the big thing here. I have to. I have to. Which means I can't take any of the others. Discard that and take a block potion to keep myself safe in the upcoming fights, but I feel quite good about that. Lose 10 gold to gain a relic. Don't mind if I do. That's a cheap-ass relic right there. It's Adrenaline, because I always cast Adrenaline, whereas I sometimes cast man uh, Outmaneuver, and they both get one energy is the thing. But the next one has to be the Maneuver. I have to flechettes then outmaneuver here. Watch this. Flechettes, outmaneuver. Madness and Predator down to zero. Alright, I'm just going to burn Purity out of my deck. Unfortunately, the opponent is going to buff themselves and make it impossible to deal any damage to them for the next two turns. So I'm just going to be protecting myself. Which can be harder and harder to do, considering, but still. Give it my best. I kind of want to think ahead, so I might have something better to Madness. Madnessing my card draw is more powerful. Unceasing top, as you can see, would be ridiculous here, because I would just be able to chain off. Wow, that sucked. 42 damage! I mean, I'll probably still be able to defend all of it, but that's not the point. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm able to defend all of it quite handily, in fact. Then I will discard piercing instead of playing it, just so that I keep my energy up. Okay. 13? Looking for card draw. I don't think I got card draw in there. Yeah, I don't. Lachette's is only two. Okay, it's three now. That's pretty good. Okay. Discard one of these burns. Uh, actually, it might be... Le yeah, beautiful. That's the kind of thing this deck can do. Just suddenly have lethal. I don't want to take acrobatics. 
lets me dig specifically when I have a bunch of energy. And a lot of the time recently, I seem to have a bunch of energy and nothing specific that I want. Uh, next upgrade is Atmeet Mural. I actually kind of don't want Ormamori because I'd really prefer to have the Dubu doll active. All right, I'm going to make the flying knee cost zero for the rest of the fight. Just because as a mana manipulation card, it's going to be a card that I always want to play. So I've given myself two extra energy next turn as well as two extra cards. It's really good. And I'm completely defended as well. And I've also got five extra energy, like excess rather, energy from this turn going on to the next one. I got Master of Strategy, which is excellent. And Acrobatics, in fact. Holy shit. My goal here is to try and lower the cost of Predator, if at all possible. Flechettes could have done more damage here. I'm going to have to use Purity to lower the cost of some... No, I don't. No, I don't. Broken Dagger. Holy shit, these turns chain. I no longer need Purity in my deck. I'm not sure if I actually needed it to begin with, to be honest with you. But I've got six, six defense going into the next turn. I've got two extra cards, and I've got four extra energy on top of the four that I just carried. No, four extra energy, rather, sorry. Okay. I should be doing all of my attacks last, or at least the attacks that don't draw, I should be doing last. Okay. I think I might, yeah, that's the kill, just because of how slow my opponent is. Singing bowl, another thing, turn down. Don't want any of those. Sorry, that's another thing that I want to have because I'm turning down cards, rather. Philosopher's Stone! I, I released a Philosopher's Stone episode quite recently, in fact, and there was a quite vocal response in the comments along the lines of, that relic sucks. I don't think it always does. I'm going to be honest with you. I think it's entirely about the build in which you use it. The Shets is super powerful this turn. I might actually just have to use it for a one mana kill and fire old though. Eh. Let's think ahead. This master of strategy. Holy shit. We have no end of card draw right now. See, I've got two manuses in hand. I'm trying to get to a card that I want a madness. I might actually just skip straight past that to lethal. If I burn dagger spray in that. Not exactly the cards that I wanted to hit, but still fine. <laughs> oh, I love this. I have to take Terra because I don't have a Terra in my deck yet. And if you can pop a Terra on the final boss, it's ridiculous. In fact, any boss. In fact, any elite. In fact, any big tanky enemy.
Right, no need for the rest of that. <sighs> 10 damage at the end of every turn. Hopefully I can kill this turn to prevent myself from taking that. Flechettes with 8 skills. I need to upgrade Flechettes. It's, it's... At this point, it's super overdue. It's been too obviously useful too many times for me to continue looking at it like, I don't know what value that has. It's my impersonation of me. What do you think? All right, let's go. Masters of strategy. Yeah. I, I could have chained off for a lot longer there. I don't actually think I want any of these. Maybe prepared? Probably not. Think ahead. Put that quick slash back on top. Acrobatics. I kind of want to keep that piercing whale. Use it. Ha <laughs> ha! Adrenaline time. I mean, both of these get quite closer than killing themselves. I'm actually going to go for this fire orb. It's not going to die, but as soon as it hits me, it dies. So that leaves less health on the only remaining one. None of these are card draw. Yeah, no, so it doesn't really matter when I cast, uh, cast them. Uh-uh. Don't cast Predator yet. It's your madness target. And the thing is, usually it would be like, oh, I wasted two energy that turn in order to set that up as my mana target. But I didn't because it gets stronger. I keep that too. So good. Also, I just killed the Flame Bruiser this turn. I don't know what I'm going to draw, but I'm still going to kill him. Ah. Lethal by any other name. Still smells as sweet. Bye bye, Flame Bruiser. Mm -mm. I am. I've got to admit, I am really impressed with myself right now. And as anxiety-ridden as I am, it's very difficult for me to say, Oh, I like this thing that I did. But holy shit, I like this thing that I did. Uh -huh. Don't need to protect myself. Don't need to give myself anything. Cool. Hold off until the next turn. Extra energy courtesy of the Runic Deck Decahedron. I can't believe how often I've actually had that work in this final area. This is where you think it wouldn't work, and it is going gangbusters all over my opponents. I'm weakened, sure, but not for long. Madness of Flying Knee. Leave the rest of that in my hand. I haven't got any extra draw this turn, so I really do need a draw card now. Acrobatics will do. Don't think I'm dropping Flechettes this turn. Maybe. Man, it's that down. Make sure that I can play it. Sure. Rest of the hand plays itself. Opponent takes 16 damage hitting me.
And... Predate Dagger. There we go. There's that kill. Another Cloak and Dagger because it's actually, like, overperforming in this deck currently. Pushettes. All right. Oh, shit. It is the Time Eater. I should have checked ages ago, but still. Let's see. Terra first, obviously. Lower the cost of that Predator. Yeah, should have done that earlier. I would have protected myself a little more there. <sighs> I've only got four hits this turn, so I've got to use my most powerful things. One of them's Predator. Flying Knee. I think I'm going to go Protection, Protection. No, I need to get Caltrops down. It sucks to lose those cards. They're the ones I chain off of. I'll keep piercing whale because that's going to be ridiculous this turn. I'm going to put madness back on top of my deck because I'm playing all of these. Again, three cards next turn. It's rough. Eight damage every single time my opponent hits me, though, is pretty good. I hate the time eater so much. Like, it's not even that difficult, to be entirely honest. But it shouldn't exist. Lose my cards anyway. But it shouldn't exist because it invalidates literally, like, a full strategy. Like, you spend two floors building to this strategy. Sure, on the third floor, you can look at it and go, Oh, shit, I guess I'm up against a Time Eater. But by that point, you're kind of inflexible. I actually don't need Outmaneuver anymore. <sighs> the only things that I can really do here are, like, big predator hits. You're about to heal yourself, so... I think my whole goal here is... Just set up for my next turn. Two predators, flying knee. It's a pretty good setup for my next turn. I'm also going to dodge and roll to set myself up with some armor for my next turn. Because you're going to heal back to half health. Double Predator. Unfortunately, it also purged off my Terror, and I can't reapply that. A lot of damage I can deal there. Beautiful. I'm already protected against all of your incoming damage. I could dodge and roll to set up for protection against the next... And I should, in fact. I don't need more energy. Discard the attack and then for the shets. Beautiful. I basically just wanted to trigger the 12 that turn. The end of my turn, so that I have 12 free plays this turn. I think I should just be able to kill with those 12 free plays. 13 energy and a hand of 9 cards. I don't know, just seemed possible. Well played, Time Eater! Not this time, I'm afraid, though. Hell... 
on Earth. This is ridiculous. 297 damage. 697, rather. Sorry, 400 more than I'd said. My name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Slay the Spire. That has been the silent chaining off absolutely ridiculously. God, I love runs like this. I just love deck building games and making degenerate engines in them. And having a game like this where I can... And obviously I love roguelikes and I love indie games and I love like the art style. This art style... This art style actually looks exactly like the art style that my partner draws. It's so intriguing to me for that same kind of reason. It's just like... I could see them having made this. And if they did, then, you know, more props to them. Oh, I love this game. My name is Vin Rhapsody. The name of the game is Vin Slayer the Spire. There's a playlist in the description down below with all my content on the game, past and in the future, and hopefully we'll see you next time, Jeanette. Why always the J names? Like, almost always. I just stick to the J names almost single. I've never used Ryan. That's my name. Maybe there's someone else out there named Ryan. Yo, if your name's Ryan, what up? How's it going, fam? I feel you. I got that name too. See you in the next video.